Hey, scientists, it's me, Sid. I want to know why birds won't move into my birdhouse. So my friends and I are going to discover that there's lots of science to explore in the backyard. Come explore with me, Sid the Science Kid, coming up next. Hey, is this thing on? <laughs> hey, Sid, what do you say? What you want to learn today? I want to know why things happen and how and want to know everything now. Oh, yeah. How does this thing work? Why does that stuff change? How does that do what it just did? Hmm, what's up with the sky? You think I could fly? The world is spinning and I want to know why. I got a lot of questions in big ideas. I'm Sid, the science kid. Hi there, I'm Sid. Hey, come here for a second, I wanna show you something. Okay, look at that. Isn't that the coolest? <laughs> Dad and I built that birdhouse together. Hmm, it's really great, even though it doesn't have a TV or a bathroom or stuff like that. But there's a problem. Where are the birds? I guess maybe they're sleeping. Hey, hey birds! Wake up! You're gonna be late for school! Hmm, nothing. Not one bird. Hmm, how could a bird not want to live in such a super fantastic, amazing place like that? <sighs> I just gotta know. Now that we built a birdhouse, where are the birds? breakfast time! Oh boy, breakfast, I'm so hungry! <laughs> Breakfast time! Ah, morning, Mom. Morning, Dad and Zeke. Morning, hey, Sid. Sid. Hey, Dad. Yeah? I was checking out our birdhouse, and it looks great, but there's one big problem. Sid, I told you yesterday, there's no way to put a TV in a bathroom in there. <laughs> <laughs> no, not that. It's the birds. There aren't any. Not a single bird is living in the birdhouse. Oh, well... Just give them more time. I'm sure they'll come. Well, I guess, but I don't even know what kind of bird to look for. Hmm, well, maybe I can help with that. Oh. Come on over to the computer. Okay. I'll see if I can find pictures of birds that live in our area. Great. Hmm, here, take a look at this. Here are some different birds you should look for. He's pretty in blue. Mm-hmm, that's a scrub jay. Here's a hummingbird. Huh. This one's a sparrow. Cool. All these birds live around here. Well, okay. Well, thanks, Mom. I'll look for those. If they ever show up. <laughs> okay, Sid. You can think about the birds after breakfast. Oh, hey, that gives me an idea. Breakfast, food. Hey, what if we give the birds some food? And maybe then they'll come to our birdhouse. Smart thinking, Sid. Ah, Thanks, Mom. Good idea, Sid. I know I always come running when I see food. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, I'll get the bird food, and today after school, our special project can be putting the food in the birdhouse. Really? Well, that's great, Dad. Thanks. <laughs> you bet, buddy. Ooh, and Gabrielle is coming over after school for a play date. She can help us feed the birds. Yes. I love my mom. Uh -huh. My mom is cool. Uh -huh. But now it's time for having fun in school. Yeah! <laughs> Hi. I'm looking for my friends. I'm looking for you. There's Gabriella. Watch what I can do. For you. Hey, there's Gerald. Yeah, check out my moves. <laughs> yeah, I'm a rock star. Gerald in the house. Cool. I'm looking for my friends. I'm looking for you. Hey, there's May. Uh, may I show you how I groove? All right. <laughs> so cool. Groovy. We're, We're looking, looking for our friends. friends. We're looking for you. Did you hear the one about the 
kid who wanted to know everything about everything? That's you! <laughs> For the Sid survey. Hello, I am Sid, roving reporter with today's survey. Yeah, the question: Where do birds live? And you can think about where birds live too. Let's go get some answers. Yeah! yeah. Why, yeah. there, May? Yeah. Hey, Gerald. Yeah. Hi, Hi, Sid. Sid. Hey, I have a question. Whoa! Oh. What is it? Um, where do you think birds live? Well. Um, penguins are birds, and they live where it's icy and cold. Wow, that's cool. <laughs> Thanks, May. You're welcome. So, Gerald, where yeah. do you think birds live? Oh, um, I think they're way up high on um, telephone poles, because that's where I've seen them. Hmm. Um, hey, Sid, I've never saw a bird use a telephone, though. Yeah, you know, me neither. <laughs> Thanks, <laughs> Gerald. Okay. Ha. Giddy up, horsey! <laughs> <laughs> Oh, hey there, Gabriella. Hi, Sid. Um, I have a question. Where do birds live? Oh, that's easy. They live in nests, way up high in trees. <laughs> wow. Well, thanks a lot, Gabriella. You're welcome a lot, Sid. <laughs> and now, the results of my survey. May says that penguins, which are birds, live where it's icy and cold. And Gerald says birds sometimes live on telephone poles. And Gabriella says birds live in a nest. Maybe you thought about where birds live, too. Well, there you have it. I am Sid, roving reporter and bird expert. Everybody, rug time! Ooh, that's teacher Susie. It's rug time. Come on in. Rug time. Take a seat. Rug time. We're ready. Everybody, move your feet. Rug time. Teacher Susie. Good times on the way. Rug time. Flap, 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 And I'm coming in. Birdie landing. Sweet, sweet. That was awesome. Thanks. Okay, who has something they'd like to share with the class? Oh, oh, on the playground, we were talking about where birds live. Oh, yeah, because yesterday, my dad and I built a bird house together. Oh, oh that's so cool. Yeah. How many birds live in it, Sid? Uh, none. Oh. I don't know why. Oh, oh, no. Maybe they're in their nests. Hmm. Ooh, you might be right, Gabriella. Let me show you something that might help all of you. Let's see. Um... Ah, here we go. A bird's nest is an animal home for birds. Oh. Hey, we live in homes, too. That's right, Gabriella. So let's talk about what makes your home special. Well, I have a comfy bed in my home. Oh, my mom and dad make yummy food in my home. Oh, and also, um, because, you know, if it rains or if it's too hot outside, then you can go inside your home. Great answers, everyone. Well, a nest is kind of like your home. It's a warm, safe place to eat food, take care of babies, and it provides shelter from the weather. Now, let's look at some other animal homes. Who lives here? Um, oh, oh, bees! bees. Right, in a beehive. And who lives here? Now, look carefully. They're really small. See, crawling around uh, on top ants. of the air. Right again. An ant's home is called an ant hill. Hmm. So the hive and the anthill are homes like a bird's nest. Yeah, but um, well, where do the birds get those nests from? Hmm. I think they build their own nests. You know, I think it's time to investigate how to build a bird's nest. So let's go to... The, the Super Fab Lab! Right, come on! Investigate, explore, discover! Ah. It's time for our bird's nest investigation. 
Today, we're going to build one big bird's nest together. Yeah! Awesome. <laughs> now, take a closer look at this nest. Tell me what you see. What did the bird use to make the nest? Oh, sticks and twigs. Leaves. Mm -hmm. Oh, I see little feathers. Paper. Oh, and is that string? Yes, it is. You see, birds will use anything they can find to build their nest, even old shoelaces. Oh, <laughs> but how do they build anything? Birds don't have hands. Oh, uh, they can use their beaks. Oh, and feet. Very good thinking. Birds do use their feet and beaks to grab things they need to make their nest. Uh-oh. I, I don't have a beak. Well, we can use our hands like a beak. See, go like this. Tweet. Tweet. <laughs> I think everyone's ready to build a nest. So let's all become birds. You can pretend to fly around and collect things from all around the room and the playground. Uh -huh. Then uh -huh. fly back here with what you collected and we'll build our nest. Cool. Okay? okay? Yeah. Hey, you're a scientist. You can try this too. Tweet, 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 tweet. It's time for our bird's nest investigation. First, fly around like a bird and find things you can use to build your nest. You can use all kinds of twigs and leaves. And when you found enough items for your nest, bring them back to the classroom. Come on, birds, let's fly back. Oh, it looks like you found plenty of twigs and leaves. What else can you use to build your nest? Ice pop sticks, pipe cleaners, tissue paper, and shredded paper. Now let's make a nest. First, put down some glue and then carefully build your nest. You're using your fingers to make the nest, but birds don't have fingers like you do. They use their beaks. Could you imagine trying to build this nest without using your hands? Okay, your nest is almost ready. It just needs a few more feathers and pieces of paper. And it's done. Do you think this nest could be a home for a bird? Hey, let's put a pretend bird into the nest and see if he likes it. You know what? I think he likes your nest. Good job. Now, draw some pictures in your journals. Think about the many different things you use to build your nest. Wow, look at this great nest you built. Great job, everyone. Yeah, thank, thank you. you. Oh, if I were a bird, I would move into that nest in a minute. Yeah. <laughs> okay, yeah. let's take a look at your journals and see what observations you made. Gerald, would you like to go first? Oh, okay. Um, well, I drew my hand holding all the stuff that we used to build our nests. And, okay, look, I taped in uh, one of these twigs and a uh, pipe cleaner thingy uh, into my journal. And, okay, over here, I drew a bird holding even more stuff with her beak. Wow. Those, those birds have really amazing beaks. <laughs> <laughs> I agree. And birds are also amazing nest builders. <laughs> okay, let's see what you drew in your journal, Sid. Uh, okay, um, sure. Here's the nest we made, and then all the different stuff we used to make it, like sticks and paper, leaves and feathers. And then I had an idea. I should put some leaves and twigs and other nest things in the birdhouse I made with my dad, because maybe the birds would like that. Oh, good idea, Sid. I'm sure the birds will love it. <laughs> okay, scientists, it is time to go and play with all your new ideas. Yeah! yeah! <laughs> okay. Come on. It's time for Good Laughter News. <laughs> hey, Gerald. I don't know why. Ha uh. Oh, I mean, uh, hey, Sid. Oh, hey, um, why do birds fly everywhere? I don't know, why? Because it's faster than walking. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Gabriella. Yes? What did the mommy bird say to her bird kids before they walked into the house? Hmm, I don't know. Wipe your tweet. <laughs> Get it? Like feet. 
Hey, Gerald. Hey, Sid. What do birds use to fly? Uh, wings? Yeah, now say wing three times fast. Okay, uh, wing, wing, wing. Okay, do it again. Wing, wing, wing. Once more. <laughs> wing, wing, wing. <laughs> uh, whoa, who is it? <laughs> <laughs> now that's funny. Wing, wing, wing. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's funny. <laughs> Okay, it's time to play pretend. Yay! Sid and May and I will be baby birds oh, cool. in our nest here, and Gerald, yeah? you will be the mommy bird. Oh, okay. What? Uh, mommy bird, me? Yeah, that's, that's right. right. That's right. Well, tweet, tweet. okay. Ha, sure. Tweet, tweet, um, tweet, 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 tweet. Okay, little baby birds, tell me what you want today. Well, I'm tired. Yeah, Ooh, flying is hard work. Yeah. I'm hungry and I want a snack. Oh, I'm well, well I'm okay, everybody too. stop complaining or I'll put you in time out. Well, I'm hungry and I want to play video games and watch TV. Oh, no. If you're hungry, I know exactly what birds eat. Uh, what? Um, yum. Big juicy worms! Wow. Yeah. 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 yeah! But um, birds love to eat worms! Yeah, I gotta go. Bye-bye! See you later! And now... It's time... For Susie to sing! Go! Okay, everybody remember what this is? An, An anthill. anthill! Right, well, let's imagine that we're all teeny tiny ants and we live inside this anthill with lots of other teeny tiny ants. Now inside it's really, really crowded and it's our job to find the queen ant and bring her some food. Phew, what a busy day we're working on the big anthill. This is where we live, so if there's a way to help, I will. This anthill is our home, and so up and down I roam. Here's itty bitty me, lots of friends you see. We're all working for the colony, and everybody's up and at them. Got a lot to do today. Hustle and a bustle and a bustle and a hustle too. And everybody works together, keeping up our happy home. This little ant's got a lot of little things to do. Some are digging roads and some are fixing up a nest. Some are garden gates, all doing what they do best. For a shelter from the storm, cause it keeps us safe and warm. So we work another shift, who we gotta lift, and I'll take the queen another gift. And everybody's up and at them. Got a lot to do today. Hustle and a bustle and a bustle and a hustle too. And everybody works together, keeping up our happy home. This little ant's got a lot of little things to do. Well, I'm just a little ant. And an ant won't say, I can't, cause there's food I gotta get. I gotta get the table set. And everybody's up and at them, working for the colony. This little ant's got a lot of things. Those little ants got a lot of things. This little ant's got a lot of little things to do. Yay! <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. <laughs> I wish I was an ant living in a big ant hill. That would be a really, really fun home. Yeah. yeah, I wish I was a bird. And then I live in a home that I built for my family. Oh, yeah, your birdhouse. Yeah, hey, on our play date today, Gabriella, you can help me put food in the birdhouse. Okay. <laughs> oh, I can't wait to hear if birds show up in your birdhouse. Well, I'll let you know. Okay. All right, animal home experts, it's time to go home. Follow me. Yay! Yay! Oh, there's my Sid. It's my grandma. <laughs> oh. <laughs> and there's Gabriella. Hi. Hello. There we go, kids. Backseat driving. With grandma. Woo! Uh -huh. So, kids.
kids, how was your day? It was great. Um, we built a bird's nest. Yeah, birds build houses out of sticks and leaves and paper and stuff. Oh, yeah, those birdies are good builders. <laughs> Say, did you know some people build their own homes, too? Really? Oh, yeah. When we were younger, your grandfather and I built our own home. First, we found a nice spot of land, and then we got the supplies we needed, wood and nails. Then, we dug a foundation in the ground to make sure the house was solid, and we put up a frame and a roof, and walls and plaster and shingles and siding, and ooh-wee, before you knew it, we had our own house. We even called it our little nest. Ah, seems like only yesterday. Wow, Grandma, you built a house. Mm -hmm. Sid, your grandma is cool. I think so, too. <laughs> My grandma is the best. We learned something cool, something cool today. We know it upside down and inside out. We learned all about... Woohoo! Animal homes! Scientists in the house. Ha <laughs> Back. <laughs> yeah. Woohoo. And that just about does it. Ah, how about that? Yay. I built the birdhouse so the roof can come off. Makes it easy to add bird seed. <laughs> Good job, Dad. Oh, I thanks. hope the birds like their food. Oh, me too. Well, we put enough in there for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and I like that we even put some twigs and leaves in there so that it's more like a real nest. Oh, I bet they'll like that, too. Mm -hmm. Hey, let's go find some birds. Oh, great idea. Hey, birds. Birds. You. Birdies. Birdies, free food. Hey, birdie, birdie, birdie. Don't pass it up. Oh, hey. Huh? Hey, I know what'll help get the birds here. What? Bird calls. Bird, bird calls? calls? Yeah, yeah. Here, like this. Try it. Come on, guys, give it a shot. Hey, um, ooh, Gabriella. Yeah. I've got an idea. Let's climb up in the treehouse and look for birds. Oh, good idea. Ladies first. Thank you. <laughs> Hey, Dad. What? Um, Dad, do you think maybe you're scaring away the birds with that call? It's pretty loud. Oh. Mm. Good point, Sid. Okay, new bird call coming up. Whoop, 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 whoop. I learned that one at summer camp. Everyone, look, look, a nest. And a bird. Wow. Oh. Well, that's why she's not in our birdhouse. She has her own nest. Hey, that's okay, bird. You can use our birdhouse later, okay? Hey, do you hear that chirping? The bird's still in her nest. <laughs> Today I learned that birds are really good at building nests. That's their home. And get this, lots of animals are really good at building their own homes. And that gives me an idea. Hmm. Okay, I've got it. Here's my super duper ooper schmooper big idea. Since birds and other animals are such amazing builders, they should have their own building company. And they can call it the Animal Building Team. And the ants will be in charge because they really know how to work together as a team. Beavers can cut the wood. Birds can make twig skyscrapers. Tweet, tweet. Gophers can dig big tunnels. Dig, 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 dig. Squirrels can gather nuts to make walls. Spiders can weave the curtains. <laughs> and woodpeckers can hammer in all the nails. Blam, blam, blam. All the animals will use their amazing beaks, legs, claws, and backs to carry everything they need to get the job done. The animal building team will be the best bunch of builders ever. And that's my super duper uber schmooper big idea. <laughs> well, I'm pretty tired. I'm sure glad I have a home where I can be safe and warm. Hmm. 
<laughs> what? <gasps> oh boy! Guess what? There's a little bird visiting our new birdhouse. Yay! Uh, I love helping birds because I am Sid the Science Kid. And remember, keep asking lots and lots of questions. <sighs> See you later, scientists. <laughs> boing, 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 boing. <sighs> Investigate, explore, discover! Ah! Hey, I know how to investigate, explore, and discover. And I bet you do, too. <laughs> investigate, that's when you want to find stuff out. Explore, that's when you look at things in the world around you. Discover, that's when you investigate and explore, and you find out something new. Be sure to check out another episode full of amazing science. My friends and I will learn how to use simple machines and dig into backyard science. See you next time on Sid the Science Kid.